Hey everybody, this is Jay Stargard, international artist and owner of Stargard Art. We are through the design phase and today we're gonna get out and get into my shop. We should begin laying out the sculpture onto the metal and most importantly, we're going after the copper portal. Um, so we will be annealing that and you see that gorgeous rosy red color when we are annealing the copper before we quench it. Very, very, very cool. It's one of my favorite things to do. So um, check it out and hope you enjoy it. This is the last three days, the work that I have put in to create this beauty. So I'm ex super excited to get it out and start putting the plans to the metal. In starting the project, I am interested in doing the portal first because all the attachments are going to come to that. And there are so many options on attachment that I need to solidify that part of the sculpture first. So I'm working on the primary portal and we've got copper and I am texturing the copper. because my hammering muscles aren't, um, aren't up to par, so I have to do other things in between. So we'll begin the layout of um, the design of the metal. Okay, here's my tip of the day. So when laying out patterns on metal, there's always going to be some um, space in between and um, that's just waste. Uh, it, and particularly when you're plasma cutting, hand cutting plasma um, cutting because it gets yucky and nasty and, and that kind of stuff. So there is some waste on that. So you have to figure that out when you buy your materials. Anyways. So you go through and you do your biggest pieces first, and then in order to save space, you go in and do the small ones in between so that you can use every viable piece. So that's my tip of the day. It's time to break out the oxyacetylene because we have to anneal the copper that, oh, that I just hammered. So attach. This is my 100 foot heavy duty stitching cord that weighs like 50 pounds. I don't know, it's probably 40 pounds, but anyway, so we're going to um, anneal the copper and Calvin is gonna help me because he's hanging around for a little bit. And uh, we are going to then, after we heat it up, we are going to then quench it outside in the pond. So let's fire it up. And how the copper and the bronze work is you have to heat it up to this rosy red and try to keep it there, but you can't go past rosy or it'll melt it and ruin it. And then once we get it to that red, we're gonna grab it as quick as possible and just quint, get it all the way wet. <laughs> You're doing 
Calvin's heating the piece evenly going up and down the entire length of it because we want the whole thing to anneal. And um, so as soon as that happens, you'll, we'll see because it'll start to get red and hopefully I'll show you. And then we're going to take it out and quench it into the water and that will, that will allow it to be all pliable and soft again. This copper is super thick. It feels like it's really, really close. Important to keep moving, especially with copper because it's super soft. And um, if it gets too hot, it's just gonna drop and melt. So you have to keep moving and watching the condition of the metal. And it'll start to get the rosiness in it. And um, as soon as that happens, we're ready to go. Ready? Okay, go, bust the butt. Get, 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 quick. All the way, go, 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 go. Yeah. We did a super good job. So when we get it all at the right temperature and you quench it, then all the scale comes off and um, that's what it should look like. And it is so soft. I'm just barely, barely, and I'm getting a, a really, easy bend. So I'm going back to my circle and creating the portal. Oh, it's cool to do it with just my hands. Makes me feel so strong. <laughs> <Just messing around. laughs> Very cool. I love the shape that the hammering created. Super, super, super cool. Yay, I get to weld. Oh my gosh, it's been way too long. So I am going to weld the portal shut right now. Welding copper is interesting. You really get one shot at it. The, using the copper welding rod for copper is the way to go with that. I have a super nice clean weld there, but I am going to just knock the top of the weld off, then hammer it out and it, it'll be good to go. Yeah, probably have to touch the inside just a little bit, but not much because it's, it's, uh, it's nice. I don't know if I mentioned, but it's super cold out today and I don't have my heaters because we have the shop wide open because Calvin's doing his thing and that kind of stuff. So, so it's cold in here and putting on earmuffs that are chilly. I do everything I can to warm them up a little bit. <laughs> I'll show you what a nice clean weld. There's no cracks, no divots, no holes, so it makes it super, super nice. The inside of this is almost, well, no, I would say it is. It is more important than the outside aspect of this part. So it's got to have exactly the right texture in here. Everything is uh, so soft. I'm going through and work hardening this now. So it stabilizes and strengthens because it's gonna have some weight to hold. Um, and yes, we will be welding on it, but we will work harden it as we go. Doesn't take a whole lot. Taps. What this also does right the circle
interesting because what I do in the shop um, is also a reflection of what happens outside. And in my shop, I am left leg dominant when I'm pushing against things, when I'm polishing and, and working, my left leg is forward. So um, via ergonomics and my trainer, Ryan Bailey, thank you so much. Um, we have to get my right leg firing as quickly as my left. So while I work in the shop, particularly on this project, I'm going to be doing this differently to open up new pathways. I talk about doing things differently so that it opens new doors. Well, this is for my particular body. So I am going to be doing things differently by stepping and staying conscious of my right leg forward and um, getting my right leg to fire a little more quicker when I'm skiing. So, um, so I'm going to blend the fun of that. <laughs> delicate process in this and uh, I'm just pushing the edge I can tell I can feel it when you look at this I don't want you to be able to see where I welded it together so um, I'm really 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 close so maybe with that perfect light coming in you'll be able to see it but for the most part I hope not and when I put it into the sculpture um, you definitely video. Which one are you going to do? This one? That one's pretty fun. That one's cool. That one though, that one, mm, that one might be my favorite. This one's pretty fun too though. <laughs> All right, you guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button.